Cancer. <laughs> this is going to be our love story reading for February. Hope you're doing amazing. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Remember, this is a general reading. If it doesn't fit, what? Don't make it. So, if this doesn't, I will check your Venus. That's always my go-to for love. Um, but you can check your moon, rising, whatever you like. <laughs> um, so, if you need a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links in the description box below. Or you can go to the website right up above and I'll be more than happy to do that for you. So Cancer, let's jump right into your reading. Let's see what your first three cards are going to be. We have Abundance. Divine Masculine. Emotional Freedom. Creativity on the bottom. Um, this is a good time to, to figure out how someone feels about you, Cancer. I feel like it's time for you to do that, okay? Um, you have this idea of what it is that you truly want in love and what you want with this specific person or with anyone in your life or just trying to achieve a, a better situation or have your best outcome for yourself, right? I feel like you have someone coming towards you, but you need to figure out what their true feelings are. They may be doing the actions, they may be saying the words or something like that, but you really have to figure out what their true intentions are and how they truly feel emotionally. That's what I get there. So we have getting to know each other. I feel like you know enough about this person, whether you want to admit it or not. Really what's, uh, what's keeping you here is the feelings that you have for this person or their attractiveness or maybe they're young or something of that nature. There's something that um, really drags you towards this person in a physical standpoint. But you're trying to, you want something more. You're trying to move this relationship to something more stronger. I do feel like this person does want affection and love and they're trying to bring it into you. They do want you to give the relationship a chance, but there's something about this that feels like there are a lot of action and not a lot of caring. That's what needs to change. And I can't tell if it's negative or positive <laughs> from what I'm feeling right now, to be completely honest with you. Um, you know, it's almost like they're trying to get you in the web. I don't know if it's a web of lies, but they're trying to get you in some way. Okay, let's see what's going on with your past, Cancer. Three of Wands is the first card that wanted to come out. I'll let it. past I feel like um you kind of went with whatever this person said not in a, a mean way or a negative or a weak way but it was like I feel like you were just really excited about being around them or really excited about going towards love that you just went towards love but a lot of things have happened to you I feel like that you've gained knowledge and understanding about what it is you want in a relationship and what it is you want in a person that you want to be with and you've gotten a little not cold but you've definitely gotten to a point where you reason things out better you think about things better ten of wands in reverse yeah you're ready to let off burdens seven of coins and the ten of cups you know you're tired of the hardships. Everything doesn't have to be a hardship. And you're starting to understand that. You're getting worn out. You don't want to be carrying all the responsibility or holding on to a relationship, hoping that it's going to get better. That's not what you want to do. You're ready to spend some time and invest as long as they spend some time and invest. It's like you want to see where their mind is because your ultimate goal is to be happy. 
your ultimate goal is happiness and, and i don't see stability but i see happiness for sure and you want to make sure before you put any more energy into it that's where it's going you're just so worn out you know so let's see you them and the relationship okay we have the queen of wands five of coins And the uh, Eight of Swords, yeah. Okay, for them we have the Knight of Wands. Five of Cups and the Palace of Cups. <laughs> wow. Okay, and then we have the Page of Coins and the Temperance. Okay, Cancer, the first thing I see is that this person is so attractive you can't think. Uh, I feel like that's the first thing that you think about when you think about this person. It's how attractive they are or how you want to sleep with them or how the sex is good or whatever it is. How you want to nurture them or be around their power. You know, like um, they get a lot of attention and you're like, I want to be in that attention. I want to, I want that attention from them, you know. Um... The problem is they're not giving you what you need. You need stability to feel loved. You need to know that they're going to be there. They need to be consistent. And I don't feel like that's a thing that they can give you. They're not very stable, especially with them having the Knight of Wands over here. And I feel like you just end up feeling trapped in this. And in, in thinking that things are going to get better or they're going to do better. And the whole situation is going to be better. You know, um, that's what the first half of February looks like. It's up to you to get out of that and, and find that strength and that positivity within yourself, which I feel like was in your general reading. So, um, on their side, yeah, in their mind, they go where they feel like they want to go. <laughs> this is a person that does what they want to do because it makes them happy. They go where they want to go because it makes them happy. That's just who they are as a person, right? They're coming in and out of your life. They're doing what they want to do. They're just flowing with it. I don't feel like they love you the way that you want to be loved, though. Um, that's the thing that's interesting. I, I feel like they have regrets um, for not loving you or not giving you a chance but I don't feel like they can give you the stability that you want you know it's like they come in when they miss you or they come in when they want something but I don't see it I don't see it being because of love okay but we'll clarify all this their actions are going to be to give you some sort of affection it can range from a lot to the most, whatever that is, with the Palace of Cups here. Um, but that that's, that's what that card talks about. It's like, this person is going to give you affection. They are going to give you love. They are going to give you some attention or make some sort of promises for to you. But um, as far as it going somewhere... That would be completely up to you. You know what? You know what's so funny? I just thought of a um, spread just now. That's why I'm moving these cards around. I, I just feel like you're really trapped in your head about this person. Yeah. 
it's like there's a little bit of an offer. It feels very superficial to me. And most of the offer or most of the feeling that you have or thinking that this relationship is going to go somewhere is based on hopes. It's based on dream. It's about it's based on you trying to balance out your feelings for this person while they come in and out or do whatever it is that they want to do. You know, um, I really feel like you should focus on yourself. I do. I feel like you're missing a lot. You're missing a lot about you and what it is that you should do for yourself. Focusing on love and that needs to change. So let's clarify. Four of cups in reverse. Three of uh, five of wands, excuse me, ten of coins in reverse. Yeah. Um <clears throat> I feel like this started off as you not wanting to miss the opportunity. That's the thing. You don't want to miss out on what could possibly be here. But emotionally, it's a struggle. It's a struggle trying to get things to go in the direction that you want it to. There's really no stability here. It's based on passion. It's based on drive. It's based on a want that you have for this person. Four of coins in reverse, three of wands, page of wands. Yeah, they're not holding on to, they, this is a person that isn't going to, they don't want to change, okay? They, they want to hold on to you maybe for money reasons, financial reasons, stability reasons, or because they've been with you for a long time. So, they do come towards you and it feels like something's going to happen, but then they keep it as superficial as possible. So, that's why I feel like it. They come in, they come out, they leave it open to do what it is that they want to do. King of coins, queen of cups in reverse, and the five of coins in reverse on the five of coins, let me say. That's because emotionally you're not getting anything from this. Um, you know, you have this thing and you're, you, you're like, this is what I want though. This is what I want. This is what I want to do. Um, it, this it, It's time for you to take all this emotion and focus on your career. On what it is that you want to be. What it is that you want to create in your life materially wise around you. Um, and put love to the back burner. Because you need to move on with your life here. Temperance. King of Swords and Nine of Swords. Yeah, they're banking on you being patient with them all the time. This is a person that knows they're not going to give you the type of emotion that you want. Like right now, it's not in their radar. Um, but what are they worried about? Let me see. They're worried about their stability. You must have gave this person money or something. Or they're worried about having a comfort zone or a cut like a comfort zone to go to. It's not about you personally. Eight of Swords. King of Cups. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Swords. Some of you may be married and they're worried about how much money you're going to take in the divorce. If you get divorced or break up. Um, yeah, you still love this person very much. It's almost like you think, okay, so... Um, they're not working with me. We're not really working on this right now. But maybe later it will revive. You know? Um, and I feel like the Four of Swords is also a caution. It, it's it's like um, you may be taking too much of a rest and not paying attention to what is truly happening. Okay? Palace of Cups. Here, Here's why that's coming in with this Palace of Cups. Because this person, sun in reverse, two of swords, and the hermit, they're not making a decision. You're you're holding off because of your love for them, but they feel they have their own reasons. And they're not making any logical steps like towards you, right? 
So they've thought about what they're going to say and how they're going to do it. This is very much um, in, in my head. I've thought about a whole plan, okay, to stop me from being hurt. Um, to stop me from being hurt or being in a situation where I don't get what I want and I'm executing it now. That's why you need to pay attention. Page of coins, the world, yeah. And a new cycle is coming in. There's a love offer coming in, trying to rekindle things, okay? So I do feel like there is an offer coming in, but it's up to you whether to choose it or not. Temperance tells you to be patient. Magician in the reverse, manipulation. Ten of Swords in reverse. And the Eight of Coins. Yeah, so you have an opportunity to see manipulation for what it is. So as you're balancing yourself, as you're getting yourself together, you're starting to see that you don't have to go back into a tough situation. You can let it go, right? I do feel like it's going to take some work for you, Cancer, because it's not going to be easy. On the bottom of the deck, you have justice. So that could be a divorce or you just doing what's right for you. And let's see what the future holds. Eight of coins. And the empress. Mm. Yeah, this is working on your own stability. Ten of wands in reverse on the bottom of the deck, letting go of the heavy burdens. It's old. It's old. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you're working on yourself, Cancer. Yeah, two of coins. You're prioritizing, though. I feel like you're keeping things where they need to be. Um, like It's like you're handling this person in the meantime to ease the situation now. But you're working on yourself. You're creating a new environment for you, doing what's right. Knight of Wands, Eight of Swords in reverse. It's like this person is still doing this whole coming in and out of your life thing, but you can see them clearly. You're not trapped in what it is they're doing. You know, you're not trapped in their words and their actions and their fear, scare tactics or whatever. Fool in reverse, page of cups in reverse, yeah. Yeah, um, you're not, you're not being foolish. You're not holding on to old ideas about this person and who they are. You're seeing things for what it truly is. With the Page of Cups in reverse, I feel like um, the dreams that you had about this person, the, the ideals that you had about them, you're slowly like releasing that. But you see, there's, there's problems with things happening. I feel like you're stopping things from happening. Yeah, because you're about to cut some stuff out. You, you're going to make a decision eventually to, to be done and over with this. Yeah, you know that you have the desire for this person, but it's more important for you to take care of yourself as an individual. Okay? So, chakra cards. Cancer discovery. Oh, you're learning things about yourself. Right? Your foundations, who you are, what you deserve. You know, it's like you're you're being faced with a situation and you have to see who you are deep down by how you react and how you come out of this. Very interesting. I love it. It feels good. Vanity. Oh, you are seeing this person for who they are. They are just doing things for themselves, what they want. That divine masculine is just like, go, 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 go. You know, I want what I want. Rejection is God's protection. So just because you wanted this to happen so bad and it didn't happen the way that you wanted it to doesn't mean that the universe is not here for you, you know? Sometimes they have to force us to see things we don't want to see about people that we care about, and that's for sure, okay? Okay, we have forget who you are. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. Your past no longer defines you, Cancer. You can be and do whoever it is that you want. <laughs> you can do and be whoever it is that you want. 
So it's time to let go of the past, this person's hold on you, what you thought about them, and seeing them clearly for who they are. That's what's happening right here, okay? I love it. That's beautiful. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.